A few years ago, there was a viral story on Reddit like this. One day, a user with nickname Linshold posted a photo showing 80 Hawks as special passengers in the aircraft cabin. It turned out that an Arab prince had spent a whopping 40,000 euros to buy plane tickets for these 80 Hawks. In a place where Hawks are considered like children, you know, there are many stories hard to explain. If you still think the tallest building in the world right now belongs to the Burj Khalifa Tower, located in Dubai, then you definitely need to watch this video. Because the Khalifa's record of 828 meters might be broken by the Jeddah Tower with a planned total height of over 1,000 meters. Dubai, the champion of the tallest and largest buildings, will also be surpassed by its neighbor, that is, Saudi Arabia. Apart from the height record upon completion, the Kingdom Tower will also set a record for the fastest elevator speed in the world. This means, just 66 5 seconds, this elevator will take you from the first floor to the observation deck on the 157th floor. Here, you will get to admire the entire city of Jeddah. When you first arrive at this tower, you're already at 20 meters above sea level. When you reach the 60th floor, the vast desert is in sight. Each floor of Jeddah Tower will offer a different experience of the building. The astonishing thing is that the site where this building located was once just a barren desert, not even considered habitable by humans. And now, a super modern city named Jeddah Economic City has risen, along with a magnificent tower placed between the two sacred cities, Mecca and Medina. Yep, we're talking about Saudi Arabia, not Dubai or Qatar. Places that are famous for their luxury. But Saudi Arabia brings much more than that, with their ambitious aspirations. I'm Honey Badger. I'll tell you about the world of Saudi Arabia, a place where every Muslim must visit at least once in their lifetime. If you have other interesting information about this country, share it in the comments section and consider subscribe to help the channel grow. Now let's go to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a very unique country. They don't have rivers or lakes, but they are the only country with both a coastline along the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf. Saudi Arabia has the world's top oil resources. The capital Riyadh is super modern with skyscrapers and being the first country to grant citizenship to robot Sophia. If you like watching science fiction movies, you'll sense that future technology is not only fascinating, but also quite scary. This super robot once declared the destruction of humanity. The reason is that tasks previously handled by the human brain, such as calculations or daily learning, now performed by robots. Besides the towering Jeddah Tower, Maka Clock Royal Tower is another impressive structure here. This tower is 601 meters high, located near Kaaba Mosque in Mecca, is part of an ultra-modern project of this city. Religious tourism is considered the golden mine of Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, there is even a religious police force called Mutawa in Arabic. They patrol on the streets to urge shops close and forced men's to attend prayer sessions. The religious police have long enjoyed extensive and almost unrestricted powers. Members of this force are present in public places to monitor violations of Islamic law. For example, men and women who are not married appear together in crowded places may get in trouble or women who let their hair show outside their face veils they threaten businessmen for their elegant outfits, scold waiters for smiling at customers while serving, and curse young women who held idle images, such as actor Leonardo DiCaprio. They also hand out harsh judgments for any inappropriate behavior, even just taking selfies. These religious police officers are responsible for maintaining order in the Islamic world in Saudi Arabia. Their duty is to monitor and enforce strict laws, aim prevent people from consuming alcoholic beverages, and other aspects. Located mainly on the Arabian Peninsula, Saudi Arabia shares borders with Jordan and Iraq to the north, Kuwait to the northeast, Qatar to the east, and Yemen to the south, separated from Israel and Egypt by the Gulf of Aqaba. Saudi Arabia is the largest country in the Arabian Peninsula, the fifth largest in Asia, and it's the birthplace of Islam with a rich history. Apart from its vast oil reserves, Saudi Arabia is renowned for its stunning natural landscapes unique cultural and historical landmarks, and two sacred sites of Islam. When you visit Saudi Arabia, you can admire the remains of various religions, exquisite sculptures in desert sand, and mysterious villages, or explore the birthplace of the famous prophet Muhammad. The edge of the world is one of Saudi Arabia's most famous tourist destinations. This geological wonder is the result of the Arabian tectonic plate shifting northeastward 
and breaking up beneath the Red Sea. From atop the 300-meter red sandstone cliffs of the Tuaik Mountains, visitors can admire the scenery of the dry river, camel caravans walking across the desert, and numerous ancient fossils in a place that was once the ocean millions of years ago. Particularly, Saudi Arabia is the only country, has both the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf Coast. It's no coincidence, Saudi Arabia is dubbed the Red Sea Bride, with Jeddah being its enchanting allure. Jeddah's strategic location has quickly made it one of Saudi Arabia's top tourist destinations, a place known for its towering skyscrapers and luxurious hotels. The most remarkable feature is the Al Balad Old Town, with 650 coral stone buildings dating from the 18th and 19th centuries. This site has been recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site since 2014. Today, the Al Balad Old Town has become an integral part of Jeddah City. This old town exudes a mysterious charm with traditional coral stone buildings decorated with closed box balconies and unique architecture. Particularly notable are oriel windows enclosed with carved wood latticework located on the upper floors of a building made of Indian teak wood, known as mashrabiya, mean open windows. Saudi Arabian women can sit and observe the streets without being seen. Furthermore, this area is like a maze of traditional markets filled with the enticing aroma of various spices and the vibrant colors of goods. Along with its development over the years, Old Jeddah has developed into a seaport, welcomes millions of Muslim pilgrims to Saudi Arabia every year via the sea route. Saudi Arabia is the homeland of two, the holiest sanctuaries. Mecca, where the Prophet Muhammad was born, and Medina, where he was buried. All Muslims face towards the Kaaba when they pray, no matter where they are in the world. For most Muslims, Hajj pilgrimage is a journey that must be undertaken at least once in their lifetime. This is to demonstrate the unity of Muslims and their submission to the divine. The pilgrimage takes place from the 8th to the 12th day of the 12th month, the last month in the Islamic calendar. Due to the Islamic calendar is about 11 days, shorter than the Gregorian calendar, so the date of Hajj varies year to year. When pilgrims were about 10 kilometers away from Mecca, they must wear ihram vestments. Men wear a two-piece white garment, one piece wrapped around the waist and the other draped over the shoulders. Women can wear regular dresses according to Islamic principles, where the change clothes is called mikat. They performed a purification ritual, declaring their intention to perform the pilgrimage. Pilgrims are not allowed to argue, apply perfume, and must trim their nails and hair neatly. According to the book History of Islam by Karen Armstrong, the current form of pilgrimage was established by the Prophet Muhammad in the 7th century. However, according to the Quran, this ritual originated in the era of Abraham. Islam believes that Abraham was ordered by God to leave behind his wife Hagar and son Ishmael in the desert of ancient Mecca. When looking for water, Hagar ran seven times between two hills, Safa and Marwa, but couldn't find it. Returning to where Ishmael was waiting, she saw her son moving his feet on the ground and water shooting up from under his feet. Then Abraham built Kaaba and called people to make pilgrimage. Since then, Kaaba has become the focal point of pilgrimage, where pilgrims must walk seven counterclockwise circuits, starting by kissing or touching the black stone in the eastern corner of the Kaaba. This ritual is called Tawaf. According to Dada Adelovo's Perspectives in Religious Studies, Volume 3, pilgrims undergo a five-day pilgrimage. On the first day, participants are reminded of their duties and wear prescribed vestments. After praying in the morning, they went to Mina and stayed there all day praying. The next morning, they reached Arafat Hill, distance about 20 kilometers east of Mecca. On the second day, at Arafat, they stood and prayed with requests, repentance, atonement, and asking God to forgive their sins. Pilgrims must leave Arafat for Muzdalifa after sunset. Once there, they pray, slept on the ground, and collect stones to prepare for the next day. On the third day, back in Mina, Pilgrims perform the ritual Stoning of the Devil by throwing seven stones at the largest of the three pillars here, known as Jamrat al Aqaba. The remaining two pillars, called Jamera, were not stoned on this day, due they represent Satan. Then they return to the Masjid al Haram Mosque in Mecca and again walk seven times around the Kaaba. This is a mandatory part of the pilgrimage. At noon on the fourth day, pilgrims once again threw stones at the pillars at Mina. 
This time, they threw at all three pillars, throwing seven stones at each. On the final day, the fifth day, they repeated this ritual. Pilgrims must leave Mina to reach Mecca before sunset on this day. If they don't leave on the fifth day, they must perform the stoning ritual again the next day before returning to Mecca. Finally, before leaving Mecca, Muslim devotees must perform the farewell tawaf, which is to circle the Kaaba again seven times counterclockwise. For Muslim devotees, Hajj pilgrimage is not just a religious duty must be complete. It symbolizes unity and submission towards Allah. They ignore the danger to their lives, save money for decades, just to visit this sacred land once, to fulfill their spiritual aspirations. Those are some interesting facts I know about Saudi Arabia. I'm Honey Badger. If you have any other interesting information about this country, share it in the comment section and consider subscribe to help the channel grow. Now, goodbye and see you later in the next sections.